This video is brought to you by my lovely patrons over on Patreon. I'd like to give a huge shout out to Anina, Clay, Mariah, Maddie, Edelis, Dre, Thomas, Tara, Zoe, Zuzia, Ainsley, Sabine, Jimma, Bailey, Azzy, Jacqueline, Monica, Jordan, Green, Lizzie, Willow, Danny, Blessing, Avery, Maddie, Alexia, B, Max, T, Taylor, M, Lovely, Antonina, Anna, Valen, Ali, Obsessed, Brianna, Nicole, Carnations, Kristen, Tequila, Autumn, Emily, Sarah, Vanessa, Nini, Nura, Macha, Ava, Yasmin, Leah, Kayla, Ali, Ginny, Vika, Inez, June, Elizabeth, Penguin, Sammy, Roland, Rose, Lydia, Mila, Adrian, Lexi, Baina, Chi, Madison, Beck, Jemaya, Mads, Rachel, Daisy, Honeybee, Jade, Hooves, Rose, Alice, Caden, Sponge, AJ, Kate, Jay, Praxin, Nicole, Terry, Hollow, Rebecca, Allison, Jacqueline, Jacaria, Mina, Lilith, Ange, Jasmine, Lizard, Haley, Kiki, Illyria, Lady Demista, Zebra, Lala, Ari, Amy, Busy, Molly, Xylosaurus, Rex, Lunaris, Galaxia, Maya, Novastar, Annie, Tori, Ariel, Bolchi, Bree, Zael, Jenny, Beastie, Leah, Arlo, Lena, Daddy, Marcella, Aaliyah, Holly, Diana, Molly, Syke, Els, Zoe, Elsie, Louie, Belette, Bruidar, Ariana, Hallowed, Allison, Lily, Meep, Rosie, Tiana, Shell, Nix, and Elena. If you'd like to support this channel and get some pretty nifty perks such as exclusive weekly audios and novel readings, the link is in the description. So, you made it over to the Pondering Quarters. Welcome. I mean, you only get this far walking away from where all the action is if you have something to think about. <laughs> yes, I do. I do say this from experiences. That is why I am here. But, um... That is not important right now. Hi, my name is Trey. What is yours? So how did you end up here? Are you at like a different school? Well, the guy, the guys from Eastern are running this. So are you from like North or West? Okay, cool. Yeah, for sure. The one direction that I didn't name off. So are you graduating also? Cool. Cool. Excited about it? Yeah. Kinda. I am excited, but then there's also like, you know, I'm over here for a reason. Sitting off, looking into the distance. Probably fairly well assumed that that's not a complete I'm okay with this. You know what I mean? Or do you know what I mean? God. ATVs. Jesus. I don't know. Um, I guess I'm... I don't want to sound pretentious, right? Because that takes away any umph behind what I'm saying, any like genuine lessons to be learned or th learned or things to be said. But I don't want to sound like Jughead Jones and that meme where it's like, "I'm weird. I'm a weirdo. I'm different." You see this hat? I never take off this hat. I'm weird. But um, I, I, I think I'm more hyper aware of situations and social stuff and just things that have to do with actual adult life than a lot of my contemporaries and my peers and I know that this is something that we're, we're, we're on the doorstep Sure, we have these four years of college, and maybe some kids will even have their parents pay for it, and some kids will just skate by and get to their degree and party as much as they can, but I, even for those kids, after those four or five years, however long it takes to 
get their degree as long as they're not going into masters or anything like that because masters actually takes like a lot of work um it's over all of this this ability to enjoy life without a certain level of responsibility attached to it a certain level of worrying attached to it in regards to where you're going to get your next meal when you're going to get rent to the landlord on time all of these different things aren't even small iotas of thoughts in these in these kids minds it's almost like a sad like painting watching all of them like frolic around and enjoy themselves and and bask in in their youth and it's devastating no to know even the douchiest of them even if they don't deserve it it's devastating to know that that world at, at some point is going to come crashing down on them and before they know it they're like in their mid 30s married to someone that they never wanted to get married to and uh, they have to just put their nose to the grindstone and continue down the path of capitalism until they die yeah i know some will get lucky some will get to do a job that they genuinely love and find like a way to make that into a sustainable career where they make a lot of money they find the love of their lives life not lives we don't get more than one their life they have amazing children but that's so far and few in between you know So it's just interesting to like be here and look at all that with that in mind. It's it's it breaks your heart for people that you gener generally wouldn't feel heartbreak for, you know. And sure, there there are some people out there. And obviously, I mean, you know, I go to Eastern um, that have family members or that will fund their entire lives and they'll never have to worry about that but eventually at some point they're going to look around and they're going to see their peers have that level of independence and they're going to long for that but they haven't developed the skills in order to obtain that independence so they are going to be frankly shit out of luck Yeah, it's sad. So, um, I've just been over here thinking about all that uh, while everyone else has been getting wasted, making out, and taking their clothes off around the bonfire. I've been over here being a little existentialist, uh, <laughs> pretentious, whatever you want to call me, I guess. What about, huh? Ah, interesting. What about me? Um, I don't know. I, I, I don't really have the financial situation to lean on anybody in my family. So, uh, But I've been working every summer at a pretty solid job. Um, and I've been able to save up some money to uh, put a down payment on like have enough money to pay for my first year of community college so yeah yeah except i am not going here i'm going like across the state because i need to be somewhere you know what i mean i need to be somewhere that is not here surrounded by all of the reminders that i just kind of harped on What about you? You know, what about you? You have done an awfully great job at listening to me just pour out all of my thoughts and feelings, but I know absolutely nothing about you up until this point. What? 
Oh, so are you, are you like one of those people who, who doesn't think, ah, college is a scam. I don't need to go to college. I can learn everything that I knew from college on the internet. Oh, really? No, no, I'm so sorry. You don't come off like that, that type of person who's like, oh, I can learn everything off the internet, but you know, college courses actually do provide learning uh, and, and, and structure to be able to absorb that information. I'm not like a college stan or anything like that, but I, I am aware that there is actual value to going to college. So, but if you're, if you're not, if that's not your like mindset, then what? That's really awful. I'm really, really sorry. Okay, um, this is gonna be probably, this is the most bananas thing that I've ever done uh, in my life. But I'm going, uh, I'm gonna, like I said, we really haven't talked. I don't really know you very well, but um, I've been trying to do soul reads more often. And uh, I can kind of just tell from the way that you've been open and listening to me and like the way your eyes look that I think you're a trustworthy person. And uh, I can tell the amount of pain in your eyes that I saw when you said you weren't going. Um, you should apply to the college that I'm going to. I'm going to KTVCC and I had a long conversation with the admissions uh, counselor. And they are constantly looking for people to give out scholarships to. It's not a bad place in town, but it's a relatively new university and they want smart people to go there and like be, be successful. And then they'll be able to like, you know, good stats and all of that. So are you, um, are you a, are you a good student? It's not you, you didn't even you didn't even match the high you had to go higher 4.3 okay yeah for sure um um so how would you feel if i gave you if you gave me your contact information and uh, i promise this isn't just a way of me attempting to get your number uh and then but i like get your number and your email and then i give it to the admissions counselor and they set up like a meeting with you uh, as long as you've done some like extra, like you don't even really need to, I, I was about to say as long as you've done some extracurriculars, but they don't really, really care that much. You, uh, have such a good head on your shoulders. You seem to be able to articulate yourself very well. And your GPA speaks for itself. I'm pretty sure you could get a full ride there. That's what I'm saying. They're, they are like fiending to send out scholarships. They really, really want to do that. So as long as you go in there with like a good attitude and really show them like why they should give it to you, I think, and we, which I think should be very easy for you. I think you should do it. You, you would be able to do it. Ah, my GPA ain't great. <laughs> so, you know. Eh. Uh, I was too busy. In all honesty, I don't want to get into like a sob story or anything like that or make you think that I like pity me or whatever. But I was too busy working around the house, helping out my siblings and my, my folks to like really focus on doing that stuff. But I'm going to be out of here and uh, I'm going to have the freedom to be able to invest myself in my studies and I'm excited for that. So what do you say? I'm 
no. <laughs> no, you don't. You don't. No, but you really, you really don't. You don't have to do anything in exchange for me. At all. That's such a ridiculous thought process. No, I, I really, you don't have to. At all. I, I, you seem like a really down-to-earth person that I think deserves to be helped out like this. So I would like to do that for you if that's okay. Ah, uh, okay. So you're not going to give it to me unless I, I, you let me. <laughs> you have to do something for me, huh? Have to. Uh, okay. All right. What is it? I'm sorry, I'm not usually this like timid and, and stuff, but a date with me? You sure about all that? I don't know, I just, um, fair warning, I've never uh, been on a, on a date with anyone before. Like I <laughs> come on, like I said, I had a lot of things to do. I was very busy. I was working my butt off to make sure that my family was stable. Don't really have much time to be enamored in the presence of a pretty girl, huh? Did I say that? Did I, did I say that? I guess I did say that, huh? Uh, well, maybe it's true. Maybe it's not. Maybe it is. Who knows? Anyways, if it, if you really, as badly as it seems, want a future uh, in going to college, and you won't do it unless, <laughs> unless I oh my god I can't believe I'm saying these words out loud unless I, yeah, I agree to go out on a date with you then yes of course I will a caveat I already agree you can't be going like doubling up on the stipulations now oh yeah, just the vibe, and we were sure it's not the fact that we're on a beach next to a bond fund. God, the ATVs, dude, chill. Golly, they're so loud. And you're sure it's not the fact that we're literally next to a bonfire, and um, it's like the last day of high school, and we're both very emotionally vulnerable right now. Okay. I'll be quiet. I'll be quiet. Yes. Yes, you can kiss me. That was great. That was uh that was really nice. Thank you. You want to get out of here? No, this doesn't count as a date, but there's a really cool Coney shop around this part of town, and I'd like to take you there if you'd be okay with that. <laughs> Sounds like a plan, plus um, you don't want to be here when things start getting a little bit out of hand. Oh, it's it is ridiculous. They are very, <laughs> very rousious. Uh, one time, this guy named Danny Ta Danny Tar. Yeah. Oh my God, <laughs> Danny Tarkinson. He um, literally almost set a part of the beach on fire. He, he, he like lit up volleyball on fire and started to play volleyball, and he burned his hand with the volleyball on fire. I had so long. Story.